So this isn't Central America. It's Fada's hometown of Zurich. And what's Switzerland famous for? Except for staying neutral on the international stage. Financial institutions shrouded in mystery. And cheese? Chocolate. And today we're at Lint's home of chocolate. Or Lint und Sprügli? How do you say it? Lint und Sprügli. I'm going to make our own chocolate with a master chocolatier. Chocolatier. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully eat loads of chocolate till I feel sick like a little kid. Got 15 minutes until our course starts. That's the name of the street. Apparently it means chocolate place number one. Seems like Lint have a monopoly on this street. <laughs> Lint and Sprugli. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. It's a nine meter high chocolate fountain with one and a half tons of chocolate in it. I mean, I'm not surprised it's a chocolate museum, so. We've also got a very large chocolate shop that they're very ambiguous about on the websites. They often say it's the world's biggest chocolate shop and then they refer to it as Lint's biggest chocolate shop. So I'm guessing that it's Lint's biggest chocolate shop in the world, not the world's biggest chocolate shop. I don't know who owns that title, but let's go make some chocolate. Listen to the tour. Oh, maybe you just. Hello. Oh, no, you're gonna go here when you wanna. Ah. This is not gonna be entertaining, so we'll skip to the end, probably. This is where we get to taste chocolate. This is why we came here. <laughs> chocolate tasting. Chocolate tasting. Safety first. Mm. Start with the white. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we are. What's on the free flow? So sweet. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who would have thought drinking molten chocolate? I love it. You love it? Mm. <laughs> This is why you come to a chocolate tour, not to learn about chocolate. It's interesting to hear about Nestle creating condensed milk for milk chocolate, but just want to eat chocolate. It's gone to the milk chocolate. Oh. It's lovely, but oh. this is where I start to feel sick after a while. I'm not leaving here until I do. I think the dark chocolate is going to be the best because when it's molten, it's that much sweeter. Mm -hmm. 
That's true. That's way too much. Yeah. Load me out. You want your own? Yeah. <laughs> so really intense. This one's the best one. What is this? You're joking. You have got to be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> it's a chocolate machine. Oh, that's caramel. Oh. It's literally like a soap thing, but you get chocolate instead. <laughs> That's so good. Right. How many? There's eight. That, we have to try all of them. Here we go. Oh, orange. I'm not a fan of orange and chocolate. Oh, that's a, oh, they gave me a big one. Double whammy. How do you know what this? Do my taste buds? I don't know what that one was. Four down, four to go. And my favorite Lint's one is the chili and the sea salt. So hopefully one of these will be one of them. It's a lot of chocolate in five minutes. Made a commitment. I've got to follow through. It's a sea salt. Really? That one. This one's the best. Oops. The chili one's great as well. Oh. The sea like salt's yours. great. I'll be coming back to that one for sure. No. Yes. Six down, two to go. Oh. I have no idea what it is. I mean, that's a straight 70%. Yeah. Oh. Eight out of eight. Only four flavours. Sea salt's the best. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bigger one. It's like a dream. I'm getting quite close to my goal of feeling sick now. That's what winners do. Fulfill goals, right? <laughs> oh my god. These are my favourite. I already feel sick. And they've got the Lindor balls. Holy smokes. so much of the last one. I need to have some water first. Gather my thoughts. Oh, half time. What do you mean half time? <laughs> the end. Time out. Okay, ready to get back in the game. Then the classic. So this year we were having the uh, double chocolate. It's the new one. Oh really? Yeah. So oh. I mean if you like that one. Okay, <laughs> then the, the double chocolate will be like crack. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. I can't actually bring myself to eat one. I do actually feel quite sick. Oh, I can't take any more. They are my favourite though. Some beef jerky or something super salty. Nice, I think that's it. There is the shop, but I'm a bit chocolated out. Oh. oh my god. Look at this. Wow, this I didn't know there were so many flavours. Whoa, look at this. Oh. 
Who would have known? Wow. I'm not buying any chocolate. No. <laughs> Don't need any more. Let's get out of here. No. No, no, no. That... I didn't know that existed either. <laughs> we need to leave right now. <laughs> yeah. I think if you want to make a chocolate cake or muffins, check out Lint's offer the ingredients. I bet they are delicious. All right. Home of chocolate. Done. Woo. That was very, 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 ah, very, very cool. Got diabetes now. Sweet. Hyper cool. So, logistics. 28 Swiss francs for the, for the course. For the course, yeah. 28 Swiss francs for the course. And the tour. The, the tour, the museum was 15 each. And that's like a very good money value. How do you that, might that? Say, that might sound like a lot. You know, 30 US dollars to pour some chocolate into a mold. But you do have to bear in mind that Zurich is pretty much paved in gold. So everything's super expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so, well worth it. Yeah, absolutely. If you're in Zurich, get the train. It's 20 minutes. Worth it. Absolutely. Okay. Next, Lauterbrunnen. See you there. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>